what's up guys we're going to be looking at John Legend's song All of Me today uh, I don't know why I've taken so long to make this video because this is a great song uh, we have the capo on fret 1 for this song okay you don't have to play with the capo uh, if you take it off you can play what I'm going to show you but it will be one key lower okay so everything will be slightly lower um, but you can do it, alright, it's just going to be hard to learn with me in the first place. So I'm going to show you the chords first, we have five chords for the whole song. E minor, C, G, D, and then A minor 2, okay. So if you know these chords, skip ahead, if not, stick with me for a bit, and we'll play the rhythms in a minute, okay. So, E minor, this is our main chord, this is the key, we have open E, middle finger is 2nd fret on the A string, 3rd finger is 2nd fret on the D string, uh, then we have open G, open B and open E at the top there. So it's just two fingers, okay, then we're going to go to C, so for this chord we have 3rd finger 3rd fret on the A string, then we have middle finger 2nd fret D string, Open G, then 1st finger 1st fret, B string, and open E. It might look like this finger's down, but it's not. Okay, I just, I keep it there just in case I need it. Alright, there's your C. Now, you don't want this E ringing, that's why I put a cross by it, so just bring this 3rd finger, kind of curl it a bit more, so that it's touching the E string, and that'll stop it from ringing, watch. You see that? So if you just bring it up enough so that it's touching the string just lightly, then it will stop it from ringing. Okay. Or you can have the thumb resting just to block that off. Alright. Alright, then we have G. Nice beginner chord here. We have middle finger, third fret on the E string. Then first finger, second fret on the A string. In the middle, open D, open G. And at the top, we have 3rd finger, 3rd fret, 4th finger underneath, 3rd fret. Alright. Now you can pause the video and, and learn these at your own pace. Alright, I'm moving through them quickly for those that already kind of sort of know them. Uh, next we have D. Again, I like to add, add the thumb here. Alright, it's not in, it's just resting to stop the E string from ringing. All right. You don't have to, you can just not play the E string, but I like to do that just so it's, I can just sort of play any string and I don't have to worry about the E string because this thumb takes care of it. All right. Anyway, the chord, open A, open D, first finger, second fret on the G string, third finger, third fret on the B string, uh, then middle finger, second fret on the E string. All right. Now we have one more chord. This happens in the pre-chorus and the bridge later on. It's A minor. Okay. Um, so again, thumb. You can block the E string if you want. Then we have open A, middle finger, second fret on the D string, third finger, second fret G string, first finger, first fret B string, open E. So, take your time with the chords, make sure you can play them, and then we will move on to the rhythms. So, I want to start with the intro and verse rhythm, okay? Same thing, same chords. We're going to have E minor, C, G, D, okay? Uh, so, let me show you my right hand, just so you can see what I'm doing here. We have down, up down, down, up, down, but notice that my hand keeps moving, one, two, three, four, it's, there's always a down to the beat, alright, you don't have to strum the strings every time, but keep your hand moving, you can go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, okay, so, Now we can keep this rhythm going for the verse, so... Whoop. 
would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. Got my head spinning. No kidding, I can't pin you down. And then keep it going. Your beautiful mind. I'm on your magical mystery ride. And I'm so dizzy. Don't know what hit me, but I'll be alright. Now, the pre chorus. The chords are different. We're gonna have A minor twice. And again A minor. Then G. Then D. Okay. And I like to play this sort of It's sort of you pick down and then strum up. So let me show you what my right hand's doing. So get your A minor chord ready. We're gonna pick from the A string. Okay, and we're gonna go. So one, two, three, up. So A string, D string, G string, and then just strum everything up. Okay, so. And then at the end, you can add another up, down, up. So one, two, three, up, up, down, up. One, two, three, up, up, down, up. Okay, then Shane. Alright, so for the A, we do A string, D, G string, then strum. For the G, G chord, we're going to go. So I do the E string, I skip to the D, then the G string, then we. And then for D, We go from the D string to the G string and the B string. Okay, so. Okay, so. My head's under water, but I'm Now, for the chorus, we're going to have G, then E minor, then C, then D. Okay, now, if you want to look at my right hand, this is what I'm doing. I'm playing down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up. And again, my hand keeps moving. One, two, three, four. Moves to the beat, but I do. So I don't always hit the string. So I go down, up, down, up, and then I pass without strumming. Up, down, up. Okay, so down, up, down, up, up, down. Alright, with the vocals. Cause all of me loves all of you. All your curves and all your edges. All your perfect imperfections. Yeah, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You notice how I played that up quite loud, so down, up, down, up. That held up is a little bit louder, all right? Just add some more dynamics. You don't want to be playing everything the same volume, like. Okay, you want to have some dynamic. Now that middle up is a bit louder, all right? Now the second half of the chorus, we're gonna go back to the intro chords. Uh, we can keep the same rhythm as the chorus though. So, and you give me all. So we're doing E minor to C to G to D for the second part of the chorus. And we keep that rhythm going down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up. Yeah? 
Okay, so that's that's most of the song now. So well done for getting this far. Um, all we do now is we repeat everything. So we have another verse, another pre-chorus, another chorus, another uh, part two of the chorus. Uh, and then it comes into the bridge, right? Give me all of you. Now, this is similar, it's the same chord as the pre-chorus. So we do A minor twice, G and D. All right, but we want to keep the intensity of the chorus. So we're going to keep that rhythm down, up, down, up. Now if you want to, you can just go into the last chorus full volume or you can have the picky rhythm and play Cause it's all me, plus all of you All your curves and all your edges All your perfect imperfection Give your all And then come into the, then come into the second rhythm So I used the pre-chorus technique there. Bum, 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 ba, up, down, up, bum, 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 up, down, up. Okay, you can play that if you want for this last chorus. And then just to add some dynamics, you know, then come into the loud. 